Hello everybody and welcome to the springtime update of the uh, Thunder Bay International Airport, YQT, here in Ontario, Canada. So yeah, this is now the springtime update here, and we have three aircraft in today's update. Hedgehog still on top of the roof of the airport. Those have not moved uh, since the beginning of the airport update series, and frankly I don't really see any need to move in them. So yeah, the hedgehogs are still there, but yeah, three aircraft today. We'll get started with this one. This is a uh, new model here. So this is uh, not a 100% realistic aircraft. This is the Air Alliance uh, Beach 190. This is a uh, 3D printed custom by 3D Design Deck. This is filling in for a Wasaya Airlines Beechcraft 190. They are like a regional airline that flies um, that they fly flights in like Manitoba and then the Western Ontario, um, in, in those provinces. And, um, so yeah, this is just kind of like a commuter airline that flies in this region, but they fly Beach Craft 190s and they fly Dash 8 300s. And so here is the, uh, Beach 190, uh, at least substituting for that one, uh, with this airline's Beach 190. This aircraft arrived in from Sioux Lookout. And it will be heading back out there. That will be an overnight turn. Uh, actually, all of these are overnight turns today. So um, that one doing the turnaround to Sioux Lookout. But cool to get this model in an airport update for the first time. Uh, not the realistic aircraft, of course, because Air Alliance doesn't exist anymore. But um, yes, that is a very interesting airline and cool service that they have here at Thunder Bay. A lot of uh, commuter services like that to other cities in the region and uh, mostly on Wasaya Airlines, so or Wasaya Air. So, yeah, there is that one to begin the airport. I'm not entirely sure where these park. This is kind of like my best guess where they park because I wouldn't imagine they use a jet bridge. Uh, so, I kind of have it just parked at the standoff to the side here. And that'll be uh, gate nine. And then uh, next up here, we have this Porter uh, Dash 8Q400 right here. This aircraft ride in from Ottawa, and it actually just pulled into its gate. You can see the luggage now getting loaded off of the aircraft right there. So yeah, this one arrived in from Ottawa, and it will be another overnight turn for this aircraft. So we're heading back out to Ottawa on uh, the 10th. All these flights are from April 9th. So we're heading out on the 10th back out to Ottawa. And so yeah, another gorgeous aircraft right there. This is in the Canada uh, 150 uh, Years of Independence livery which has since been painted over painted over a while ago, actually. Um, but this is the most recent of the Gemini Jets Porter Q400 releases. Now they have released the E2. Porter does not fly the E2s here to um, Thunder Bay. Not enough demand, probably. And also, if they want to continue flying to Toronto City Billy Bishop, then that aircraft would not fit there. So, yeah, they keep on flying the Q400s here, both to Ottawa and to Toronto City. And that's what we see with this aircraft right here. And our final one for today's update will be this Sunwing 737-800 right here. This aircraft arrived in from Varadero in Cuba. And it will be uh, staying overnight and then heading out to Cancun. So yeah, uh, Sunwing is back on this flight. It, has, it was with uh, WestJet before and they were using Swoop aircraft. But yeah, now it is back with Sunwing, which it was originally. And now they have returned the service back to Sunwing. Now Sunwing and JetBlue will be uh, merging in fall of this year, so Sunwing will be their own thing for a little bit longer than they'll su succumb to the same, uh, or at least the current reality of Swoop Airlines, which are now part of WestJet, and their aircraft are now being just flown as WestJet Mainline, uh, which is too bad for Swoop because they did have really cool livery. I mean, at least their aircraft are still painted in that livery for the time being, and they're still flying around for Russia, but unfortunately they're no longer their own airline. And then Sunwing will eventually fall victim to the same ordeal, because I don't know why, I guess WestJet just financed financially or whatever. It didn't make sense to have them operate two separate uh, like vacation airlines, so they're absorbing them back into the mainline fleet. But yeah, that'll do it for this airport update. Again, not super long here. This is a pretty small airport. Um, I hope you enjoy this airport update still. Uh, yeah, cool to get a new model in here. And then also feature Sunwing for the first time in these airport updates. And yeah, that'll do it for 
uh, this video. Thank you all for checking this one out. I'll see you tomorrow. As always, good night. Auf Wiedersehen.